I don't know if you've ever noticed this, but sometimes it can be hard to watch our words. You know, sometimes before we even notice it, we let something slip out of our mouths that we didn't mean to say. And Jesus knows that that's something that, that, that we'll wrestle with. And he tells us something about what that means for us in our hearts. You know, sometimes when somebody says something mean, and then they're like, oh, no, that, that's not me. I didn't really mean that. Sometimes we'll think, no, you said what you mean, and you show me something about yourself. And we like to apply that to everybody but ourselves sometimes. Here's what Jesus says uh, in Matthew chapter 12. He says to the Pharisees, make a tree good and its fruit will be good or make a tree bad and its fruit will be bad for a tree is recognized by its fruit. You brood of vipers, how can you who are evil say anything good for the mouth speaks what the heart is full of. Here's what Jesus is saying. When something comes out of our mouths, it is a reflection of what's already going on in our hearts. Um, the heart, sometimes we think of the heart as like a warm, fuzzy place. Really the heart, when the Bible talks about the heart, it is the kind of center of everything. You can almost think of your heart as like a pitcher full of liquid, and that's what you're gonna fill your thoughts with. That's what you're gonna fill your emotions with. That's what you're gonna fill your will with, everything that you wanna do. The heart is where everything comes from. And so if something comes out of our mouths, the reason it came out of our mouths is because it was in our hearts. Sometimes when we you know, say something out of anger, we think, well, that person provoked me. They did something mean. Well, I want you to know, no one can provoke anything to spill out of your mouth that wasn't already in your heart. If I have a cup full of water and I trip, there's no way I can spill bourbon out of a pitcher that was full of water. And so the best way for us to watch our words, if we wanna use our words to honor God, the best way to watch your words is to watch your heart. Anger and rage is not going to spill out of your mouth unless that's also what's in our heart. So it's a good time before we get into some crazy argument, before we get into some provocative discussion, to check what's going on in our hearts. Because as Jesus says elsewhere, we're going to stand before God and answer to him for these words. And the good news is that Jesus has given us his spirit to purify us. He's given us his spirit to work on our hearts. And our prayer should be that our hearts would look more and more like his so that our words can do the same.